Charleston County operates an emergency bus evacuation system for hurricanes designed to avoid the loss of life which occurred during Hurricane Hugo when some rural areas were unable to evacuate. Many of the stops are poorly located or exposed on busy roads. Others have no signs at all. Here's one at Wando High School between a construction fence and a busy road utterly exposed to the weather. What's odd is many of these stops are near public buildings which provide places where rain shelter can be found and even bathrooms. Here's Bell Hall's bus loading area. The stop's 200 feet away from that shade sheltered area. The buses being used are school buses, not the Carter buses people have been told to expect. On September 10th, we marched through Charleston distributing literature to let the community know that we need better buses every day and when we face disaster. We traveled to the Battery, through the most historic part of Charleston, which has weathered Walk many around. hurricanes, and knows the lessons that should be applied here now. As we reached Charleston's historic Battery, we met people who had refugeed here from Florida and the Gulf Coast, and were harboring themselves in our city, hoping that they would not lose their homes. talk to people from Pensacola, Fort Myers, and Miami. We visited our own Hurricane Hugo Memorial, which reminds us that careful planning for future hurricanes can avoid the loss of life our community should not have to tolerate. We're best friends of Low Country Transit, working across divisions in our community with a knowledge of history so that we as a community can go forward and have a better public transit system. Together, we go forward.